Father dear friends, I greet you this moment wherever you are, home and abroad, listening to me. I have an important message to pass across to you. I want you to understand that what is important now to talk about is not Nigeria. As a dear friend, you don't talk about Nigeria. Talk about Biafra. Talk about Biafra agitation. Talk about Biafra freedom. Talk about Biafra restoration. So stop wasting your time giving your strength and the best you have to Nigeria. Because Nigeria does not have good reputation and Nigeria have completely collapsed. So there is nothing anybody can do to mitigate with the problems of Nigeria. And why I'm telling you this is that whatever you give attention to takes the whole of your being. So I'm informing you that your Prime Minister, Njoku, is doing a lot to ensure the restoration of Biafra by the last month of this year. I wouldn't like to go too much or to talk too much, but one thing should be very clear to you that the enemies of their friends, they do not fold their hands and they will not fold their hands from fighting to stop Biafra from exiting from Nigeria. All right? So, but no matter however they are going to fight, Biafra restoration is inevitable. When I say inevitable, so which means there's nothing that can stop it. Because we have reached the Rubicon, a point of no return. Biafra nation you are hearing of have taken a lot of sacrifices of reasonable heads from Biafra land. And I think our generation shall create a history, shall make a history, shall be an institution to the whole world. That when you open the chapter about Biafra, you will say, oh no, so that you, you, you have been wasting your time. So there are people who understand the moment and what they need and how to go about it. I want to tell you that it is not the time to jitter. This is the time to be courageous for the last battle. As the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic in exile is planning to protect the Biafrans and Biafra society at large, wherever you are in the world, and especially those who are at home, because that is where the focus of Nigeria government is. So I'm telling you this day that Biafrans can fight in the air, and Biafrans can fight on the ground, and Biafrans can fight in the ocean understand my language the earlier you do this will be better for you leave those who are protesting or if you like you can join them and continue protesting but what i'm telling you is something that is very very significant that cannot be forgotten in a hurry or can that cannot be overemphasized that biafra nation is real and the reality of Biafra uh, sovereign state is what we're about to demonstrate in all this time to time. Because that country called um, Nigeria must go down. And everyone who have decided to be an obstacle to Biafra restoration, we shall make sure that that person goes on his knees before Biafra government. 
And what I'm telling you this moment is that soldier shall meet with the soldier. All right? Then the real soldier will conquer the fake soldier. Their friends are having real well organized trained soldiers. Forget the propaganda of Nigeria military, the so called Musa, they put to there, he will just come out and say whatever he like, blah, 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 blah. As if Nigeria military are doing anything, they're not doing anything. And there will be no any time they will do anything. Biafra is on top of the game. Biafrans are doing well in this agitation. And I want to tell you, in the face of war, forget 1967 to 1970, we are in the new era where anything can happen any moment. Remember, 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 thrice I told you to remember that the technology and the science in Nigeria are in the hands of Biafrans. You may not understand me, you may not believe me, that the technicians, technicians, people who can produce plane, produce war plane, produce war vehicles, produce armored cars, the only place you can get them is in the land of Biafra. So, but the only thing, the only problem we are having is that these old people who have expired that are supposed to be removed from the road are the ones who decided to be the senators, the governors, so that the young ones with strength and their brain is still very active can be able to see road. But any moment from now, I bet you overthrow, overtaking is allowed. Overtaking is allowed. Biafra shall overtake Nigeria or have overtaken Nigeria and that is how Biafra government is going to silence all the uh, uh, Nigerian servitude in Biafra land they called Southeast politicians. You will see what will happen. How many are there in number? We just fold them, put them inside the sack bag. You know, go where we are going to. You don't worry. No one will walk in me in the there are many nonsense things that uh, some people are talking uh, against someone and talking about the Biafra coming, such as uh, Joey Bokwe and the rest of them. So let me leave it that way. But we, I want to inform you that we know the people who are causing mayhem, causing confusion in the system of Biafra restoration. Is when the time comes, eh? and very soon the time will come, they will face the judgment. That is, if that one have not died before December 2nd, because the way I'm seeing the whole thing, many Igbo politicians who have decided to be serving Nigeria in the Igbo land shall leave this world. Don't remember, Bible saw until King Josiah died. Isaiah was able to see the Lord sitting on his throne. So there are people who have been hindering your progress, your success, the little business you are doing. It's not flourishing. But I am telling you that through this medium, we are going to remove them. We are going to decode them. Because if you don't code them, they will decode you. So the best thing for you to do is to decode them. So, what I'm saying at this moment should make sense to you that we don't, we don't just fold our hands. As a Prime Minister of Biafra is busy acquiring all kinds of ammunition in preparation for Biafra restoration. You will not believe what I'm saying. But let that day come and let Nigeria military terrorists mess up you will see what is going to happen. And that is the day you will know that. EGG uh, Mwerez, you know, they won't, don't value us and they don't feel like we can do anything. And this was why uh, Tinibu wambled his mouth and said, 
that if he comes into Azorok, he will make sure that the Biafra agitation dies a natural death. But I want to let you know that today, Tinubu is suffocating because he doesn't know the road to follow. He has already destroyed his face before uh, Biafrans and Biafra land. And I don't think any reasonable minded Biafra man or woman is with Tinubu. Because Tinubu is, is an enemy of progress, is an enemy of uh, Biafrans. Let me put it that way anti progress, anti Biafrans. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, what I'm telling you this moment should make sense to you to understand that Tinibu cannot stop anything because he cannot do anything. Um, as I'm talking with you now, Tinibu is aware that Biafra is coming. Don't be deceived. Nigerian politicians are aware of the coming of Biafra, the restoration of Biafra. You may say, how did I know and what have you? Let's watch and see. Because you are not too close, you won't know what is happening. Did you know that Igbo politicians are aware that Biafra is very near, Biafra restoration? You will see how those who are remaining alive, those who remain alive in Igbo land are going to run. They will leave Biafra land. Because there will be no mercy. Some of you keep asking some questions that does not make sense. Why is it so that we have not done this since? What are we waiting for? Did you know that uh, Nigeria, what they are implementing against Biafrans, that they did not plan it one day? It took more than 50 years for them to plan it, and today they are implementing it, and it is paining you. And the, what we are fighting now is something that have not, the, some of us who got the knowledge uh, of what is going on, it has not reached five years. All right? Mostly, when this Biafra issue becomes very hot, and a strong was when they kidnapped Mazen and Bekan. How many years to that? Just barely three years. We started from our own angle, and we have gone too far by defeating Nigeria soldiers, putting Nigeria police behind us, and be able to have Prime Minister recognized by international community today. But I know that it's not everybody will like Biafra to come from Igbo land and from Biafra land generally. Because some people are still keeping grudges and malice and speaking evil things against Simon Ebaso, which I believe that they, if they still remain alive by the time Biafra will be restored, they will regret the whole thing they have done. This moment, it's not as if anybody is begging you to join Biafra agitation, but we discover that we don't have any other place comfortably that we can call our own, if not Biafra land. And for this reason, we have geometrically believed that we shall fight with the last drop of our blood and to make sure that what belongs to us is retrieved from the enemies. All right? We, are take, we have taken our decisions into our hands because we wouldn't want stories concerning what belonged or belong to us. They have invaded the land of Biafra so much, just trying to make you to see that nobody is existing in the land of Biafra and uh, that the, the, the Southeast politicians are useless and the social, social uh, gathering or uh, social co cultural of Igbo uh, group called the Hanese, they are useless. They are not speaking on the behalf of Biafrans and they don't support Biafra to come. But whoever that didn't support Biafra restoration shall die irrespective of your age and the fraternity you belong and whatever 
you believe and whatever you are 